In today's video, we are going to see the factorial design and this will be implemented in Minitab. So let's first develop a factorial design. So let us go to the Minitab. Okay, let me bring one new project. I'm going to develop a factorial design. So DOE factorial design. Here we need to put three because in our problem we are going to replicate three times. So let's just put three here. After that, maybe we don't need to change these things right now. I'm just trying to show you how to develop that design. So we can go we can go with the default design I guess. Let me pull up this one here. So basically our design is ready. So we are done here. Now we need to analyze the design for any response. So for now, just for demonstration, let's create some response variable. Let's just create one response variable here. So here we have a response. We have our response. Now I need to analyze the design. DOE analyze factorial design. Response, of course, this one. Term we can keep it as it is. Graph. Let me pull all of them in one single graph. Confidence interval. We are okay with 95%. Click OK. So here we have the Pareto chart. We can see none of the factors are really significant because the p values here, all of the p values are greater than 0 0.05. So we can say none of the factors are basically uh, contributing to the any sort of change in the final response. And here as well, in our model, we can see interaction or AB, none of them have some any sort of significance. And here is a regression equation, draw the interaction plot. So here we have the main effect plot and the interaction plot. In interaction plot we can see there's some sort of maybe some sort of relation 